Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about creating and managing multidimensional raster data in ArcGIS Pro. Multidimensional data is data that's collected over multiple times, depths, or heights. And multidimensional raster data is often used in oceanography, climate analysis, and agriculture. ArcGIS Pro provides a suite of tools and capabilities for visualizing, analyzing, and sharing multidimensional raster data. Just look up multidimensional analysis in our help documentation and you'll find prediction tools, change detection tools, and more. But how do you start working with multidimensional raster data and how do you manage it? Well, a lot of organizations already have access to NetCDF, GRIB, or HDF files, but how do we convert that to a format that can be used in ArcGIS Pro? Or maybe you have a stack of images or rasters that have been collected over time, but how do you get that into a format that can be used in our multidimensional analysis tools? There are three main ways to create multidimensional raster data. The first is from a single NetCDF, HDF, or GRIB file. The next is from a collection of those types of data files. And the third is from a stack of images or rasters that have been collected over time. And this video is going to focus on this, this first method. So let's say you have a NetCDF, HDF, or GRIB file that's already multidimensional, meaning there are already multiple slices of data in the file for one or more variables collected over time or depth or height. To add this type of data to ArcGIS Pro as a multidimensional raster layer, just use the Add Data dropdown and select Add Multidimensional Raster Layer to open this dialog. Browse to the location of your data file, click OK, and you can see all the variables that are included in this file. And you can also see that each variable has an STD time value, so 25 slices over time, and some also have this uh, additional Z value, so 40 slices over depth or height. You can select the variables you want to include in your layer, and if you choose the output configuration of multidimensional raster, you can add them as individual layers, or we will choose the multi-dimensional multivariate layer option so that they're all added as one single layer. So now this is in my map as a multi-dimensional raster layer. I can go ahead and check out the dataset properties and see that multi-dimensional info is listed for my three variables that I selected. And because it's already in there, I can interact with the multi-dimensional tab at the top of my project and I can select different slices or variables to visualize. You can also enter this layer into any analysis tool that supports multidimensional data, and the output from any of our analysis tools will be in cloud raster format, which is Esri's native multidimensional format. You can convert the layer directly to cloud raster format using the copy raster geoprocessing tool. Enter the multidimensional raster layer, specify an output in CRF format, Make sure that's set as cloud raster format and check the box to process as multidimensional. And optionally, you can build a multidimensional transpose, which is a data storage option that's specifically for cloud raster format data. And you might choose to convert to cloud raster format for a number of reasons. It's designed for faster computing when working with a large number of slices, and it's built for efficient sharing of data on the web. Because it's Esri's native multidimensional format, it's also the only format supported for certain management tools, like the Manage Multidimensional Raster Tool or the Merge Multidimensional Rasters Tool. So now we have this new data set in our map, and you can see that all the same multidimensional information has been cooked into this data set, and we can access all of that from the properties as well. And now this is in the Esri native cloud raster format. In this video, you saw how to add a multidimensional NetCDF file as a multidimensional raster layer into ArcGIS Pro. From there, you can use the layer directly in analysis tools, or we converted it directly into a cloud raster format file to get access to additional capabilities. If you have more than one NetCDF, HDF, or GRIB file that you want to merge into a single multidimensional raster, or if you have a stack of images you want to use as a multidimensional raster, check out the other Creating Multidimensional Raster videos on this channel.